Hi, I'm John Ruloff, and welcome to Primo University. This class is all about roasting, and what we're going to roast today is a wonderful chicken. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way, beer can style. The great thing about beer can chicken, it infuses the chicken with flavor and helps it break down and make it tender. So let's get started. Two things you want to make sure that you do is some trimming on here. One of the trimmings you want to do is you want to take off the tail. Reason being is that tail is full of fat and it's going to sit there and it's going to bind on underneath the, your chicken sitter and cause a fire. The other thing you want to do when a chicken sitter is you want to take off that neck bone. See how the neck bone sticks up? What that does is it has a tendency to catch on the top of the lid and just takes too long to cook. So we've taken that stuff off. Now what next we're going to do is we're going to pre-oil this, give it a little oil on it, just a little bit. And what the oil is, is designed to help give a nice roasting color and helps the rub. Speaking of rub, we're actually using Primo's Chicken Tickler, a real good rub for your cheer chicken. We put that nice and nice and heavily coated. So you're gonna let that sit, just a little set up for a little minute. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the fun part. We're gonna add some garlic cloves. We're gonna go ahead and crush some garlic. Get that nice and cut right there. Just peel off the peels. Don't get me too clean, but you just want to break that open so the aroma gets in there, the oils get in there. Just drop that in there. We're going to do two because these things are slightly large, <laughs> more like gigantic, right? Get that, give it a good pop, break that, just peel that off. Get all that peel off of there. Like I said, you don't have to get every piece of that peel off, but just a good amount of it. Drop that in there, and, and now the fun part put it in your beer. Now, I like a nice beer. Cheap beer, let's not do that. You always want the good stuff. You want to make sure it's stuff you're drinking. Just get that nice and filled up there. We're going to add, put that chicken sitter right there. Next thing we're going to add is just the rub. Again, adding Primo's chicken tickler rub. Oil's nice and coated. Slide that back. Give it a nice liberal sprinkle. Coat all the nooks and crannies. Make sure to get under that, under that wing. Get on the back. Again, a nice, remember, this is barbecue, and we're going to get a nice liberal coating. Roasting, you've got to coat all those areas, all those nooks and crannies. we got to coat those, okay? Then we're going to take it, get that chicken, give it its throne. We're going to set Primo's chicken sitter, sit there like this. Now, one thing I always like to talk about is, you ever heard, remember when you were a kid, heard the chicken wing? And when you're roasting, you always want to put the chicken in the chicken wing, because what happens is when the chicken wings sit out normally, they end up having the sense to burn, really messes up the look and the flavor of your food. Put it in a nice little chicken wing. When you're done, it looks like that. Nice little option, nice little add-on to that. Keeps those chicken wings out of your way. Then what we're gonna do is take this and put it in the Primo. Now the Primo set up in our dual zone system. We have a nice, hot, direct heat under our diffuser. The good thing about this is the other thing we're using is we're using Primo's remote thermometer system. And what we're doing there is we're going to be able to put this and set it and forget it. So we put this, sit, sit right on there, nice and pretty. Look at that. Get it nice and set right there. Then we're going to take the digital thermometer, which is right here. We're going to plug that right into the breast. Now, when you get close to that tenderloin, right in that spot like that, we plug that in right there. Okay, that tells me two probes. We've got one probe telling us the temperature of the grill. The other probe is telling us the temperature of, of the meat. We close that down. We set our remote timer. Tell what temperature we want. We want, to, we want our breast at 160. So we set in our 160. We see the temperature. We're going we're gonna to set that for about an hour, hour and a half, or until reaches 160. And then an hour, hour and a half, we'll be done. All right, the sensor's gone off. Our breast is at 160. We're going to go ahead and take this off. Come on, take a look at this. This thing is awfully beautiful. Woo, look at that. That is nice. Just take off your th thermometer, just like that. Take your pan, like that. Just give it a little wiggle, wiggle. Put it in right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and let all the juices get all back inside it. And then we're going to carve it, show you how good it comes out. Now we've let it rest, now we're going to go ahead and carve it. So we're going to take this over here, the chicken over here. Look at that, it's so tender, it is practically falling off. Go ahead and cut off the thigh and the leg. So we're separating the thigh from the drumstick. Get that nice cut right there on the wing. Just give it a nice little cut. Nice thing about these, it's just so tender and juicy, it'll just pop right off. Slide that, look at that, absolutely tender and juicy. Delicious. Now, 
cutting the breast. Give a little score like that across the top of it. Put this right here, this is a family secret, this is how we do our turkeys in the Ruloff family. Cut this down, follow the bone, slide it all the way down. You're going to catch that right there. Just slide, slide, slide till we reach the bottom of that cut. Oh, that looks good. Look how juicy that looks. Put that out of the way. And now this is how you get those beautiful restaurant quality slices. Look at that. Cuts real nice. Look at all the juice coming out of that chicken. When it's all about the food, it has to be primo.